Come on. Oh! Gosh, she's really heavy. No! Oh, losing him. Where's he going? Oh, he's gone. He's that gone. Way. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. What do you say? We head over to the shop. And just a little note of record, I actually take my backpack everywhere. It's got my spare cameras, batteries, hard drives, all kinds of stuff that I need. Joby pods, you name it. I don't go anywhere without my backpack. And I'm at the shop and guess what? We have a package. Now I want to have Jessica actually open this one because I got these specifically for her. So let's go find Jessica. Hey Jessica, guess what? I got a present for you. <laughs> I know what this is already, <laughs> but. I normally am the one that does the opening, but I'm going to let you do it this time. Sweet. And this is a package that uh, we've talked about. This is coming from Tiki's Geckos. Great gecko breeders down in Florida. Absolutely cannot tell you how happy we are to have some of their bloodlines. And Jessica actually picked these ones out, so uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, there we go, Tiki's Geckos. I'll put a link down in the description to their Instagram and all their other stuff. If you want some cool gargoyle geckos, they are definitely the place to go. What do you know? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ooh, dog. That is gorgeous. Holy moly. Wow, and they're really nice and big oh, too, yeah. right? This is pretty good size, yeah. This is oh, about the size of some of our first yeah, ones that yeah. hatched. Oh my gosh, look so at the color nice. on that already. Oh my gosh. These are ones that Jessica picked out for particular bloodlines. So what else look do we this. have? Oh my god. Deadpool offspring. Is that what it yes. is? Deadpool offspring? Oh god. <laughs> so oh Tiki's Gecko's got this uh, bloodline called Deadpool or whatever, and it's like really nice red stripes. That is one gorgeous gecko. Yes. Oh my gosh. I thought we had some really pretty ones, and we still do, but my gosh. That's these gonna are... just keep getting better, so that's awesome. Oh my gosh, these are, I tell you what, I'm actually blown away. These are so cool. I'm so glad that we're getting into kind of different diverse bloodlines and really awesome ones. So these are Dracula. I don't Dracula. I don't know which one that is, but I'm sure it's a cool looking one oh that he's gosh, got. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. <laughs> But these ones are both pretty small still, so they're just gonna keep getting better and better. Oh my gosh, wow, look at that. I this one's you. got some side color on it, some yeah. collateral pattern. Oh my gosh, those are so cool. Mm -hmm. So there you guys have it. Thank you Tiki's Geckos for these amazing, absolutely incredible geckos. Now I need to get some more bloodlines. Where are we gonna get some more? Yes. <laughs> yeah, if keep you your eye out. To get them for us, then yeah. <laughs> keep your eye out. We got to grow this group now. I am super obsessed with them. I'm pretty excited. You might see that we have a little studio space set up here. I'm actually shooting a show that's called Reptile in the News that's going to come out every Friday on my other channel. If you guys didn't know, yes, I have another channel. It's Snake Bites TV or Animal Bites TV. You can search either one and it'll come up. I'll put a link in the description. Definitely go and give that channel a subscription and know that each Friday you're going to get a kind of in the news story. I hope you guys will like it. So uh, make sure to tune in. Okay guys, so I'm pretty excited about this and I know that this is something that doesn't seem like I should be super excited about, but I am excited about every part of what's happening over at the zoo. And I got all of my thermostats in from Vivarium. It's my buddy Rich over at Reptile Basics. He sent me all of these things. It's really cool about these. They're two zones, so I can actually run two different cages on each thermostat. I've got a whole box of thermostats here, which is absolutely incredible. And speaking about an update on the zoo, I actually want to throw it over to my buddy Jay down at Universal Rocks because they're working on the layout of the entire zoo. It's kind of like a mock-up down in Texas before they come back up here on the 20th this month. Let's go ahead and check out to see what he has to say. Make today awesome. It's what it's all about. And how about checking out the way the Reptarium is going to be laid out with some awesome trees and some amazing decor set up by Stuart Dunn from Universal Rocks. 
let's check it out. If that doesn't get you excited for the Reptarium, I don't know what will. Brian, it's gonna be amazing. Oh my God, holy cow, I'm so freaking excited about this. How cool is that to kind of see it? Those are the two outer walls that are gonna be on there. And then of course the inside's gonna have a big pond. It's gonna have a bunch of other cages. There is so much more to do. And all those fronts are gonna be covered with like rocks and wood and all kinds of really cool. So it's gonna look really naturalistic, but that gives you kind of the idea of the scale of that stuff. And thanks to my buddy Jay down there at Universal Rocks, I'll put a link in the description to his videos. He does a bunch of really cool videos videos about fish and all kinds of different stuff. You guys got to definitely show him some love for me. You did a great job. You got me so excited about this. I cannot wait till these guys come up here. In less than two weeks, we're going to be installing next door. Again, August 20th, guys. Oh, it's going to be amazing. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and show Lori this clip and see what she thinks. So I wanted to show you, this is kind of the outlay of what it's going to look like. This is the actual dimensions of what these things are going to do. So so like obviously down the middle, there'll be an aisle, but this is, this is like a mock-up of next Store. So you guys ready? Oh, oh. Of, the, of the shop. Big today awesome. It's what it's all about. <laughs> and how about checking out the way the reptarium is going to be laid out. With some wow, awesome look at those cages though. Some amazing decor set up by Stuart Dunn from Universal Rocks. The best part is when he goes down, none of them are the same. It's I not know, like yeah. cookie cutter, you know. Wow. Oh, that's dope. My Crazy. Gosh. Huge. Isn't that cool? And that's where the banyan tree will be. You know, like oh. in the aisle way. Cages are nicer than my house. And then this is the other side. <laughs> Maybe you can move in. I will. Okay, so what do you think? <sighs> I'm excited to see it live. I yeah. know, is it cool? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely getting better. It's hard to tell from pictures and all that, but it's definitely coming to life and getting a good picture of what it's gonna be. Less than two weeks away from us installing. Uh, Eric <laughs> is excited because he's gonna be doing most of the work. Noah's gonna be there working with us too. I can't. I'm actually. I'm excited to see like the snakes and all the animals inside the exhibit and uh, see how it actually turns out because it looks cool. I'm excited, dude. So excited. Like these guys said, I want to see it. I want to yeah. feel it. I don't want to see it on the screen. <laughs> right. I want to see it, man. Yeah. You know. I thought, I thought you were gonna say you want to eat it. <laughs> I want to eat, eat it. I want to taste it. I want to love it. <laughs> As you guys know, RJ runs around the dungeon a little bit, and uh, the downside is when we let him kind of do that, he sometimes goes underneath the racks. And today, RJ is under there. Eric, you gonna get him? Yeah, I always get nervous laying down on the ground next to him, but he's this big cuddle bug. He's fine, right? <laughs> what do we gotta do? Well, get back RJ, to where it. you at, buddy? Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna get him out of here? I always just kind of annoy him and touch him, and he usually walks right out. Come on, buddy. Come on, sweetie. No, don't go deeper. Oh. Come on. Oh. Gosh, he's really heavy. No. Losing him. Where's he going? Oh, he's gone. He's the other gone. Way. Tickle him and he'll go the other way, maybe. Now we have no choice but to pull the rack out. Moving on to the next thing. RJ's been naughty today. RJ. <laughs> that looks so funny. Oh gosh, I don't like to stand in this water. <laughs> get in, go, go, go bud, go, go. Is he coming out? I'm gonna double back. Yeah, go that way. <clears throat> Come on, RJ. Oh, yeah, his little head sticking out. Come on, RJ. Come on, buddy. Oh my God. That's so funny, <laughs> isn't it, with his little head sticking out? Come on, man. How'd he get so white over here? Is still What are you doing, buddy? He looks relaxed. Yeah, he does look very Chilling. relaxed right now. Oh, there he goes. Crap. RJ! The little three-legged monster. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Just like There we go, there we go. Oh. Sure. Wait. 
Ow, ow, ow. Can you, is there any way you can lift that rack up or anything? Yeah. No, would you want to set that down and just help? Maybe, maybe the two of you can. You want to lift right here. All right, ready? Don't worry, don't worry, I got it. One, two, three. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Don't, don't just, don't just. Okay, got it. You can let it down now. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Watch this tail. Watch this tail. Oh, oh that's heavy. Okay. So I think that we're gonna have to start keeping a lot closer eye on RJ because when he gets under there, it's a bummer. It's really hard to get him out. Uh, all right, RJ, you were naughty today, buddy. It's all right, I know it's not your fault. You were just looking for a place to hang out. <laughs> Let's get him back in his pond. We're off to the family farm in something store where we always get our hay. You guys know I love this place, so uh, let's go see what's going on in here. You know what, maybe we should get a kayak. Get a kayak. Eric guys has kayaks. I know. That could be fun too. This one's cool. That's only <laughs> 400 bucks. Look at that. This is the place that sometimes has the baby chicks too, which would be good for Veer Day. And I think they're cute, so I like to see them. Let's see if they're here or not. Uh, I don't hear any chirping though. Maybe they don't have them. Do I hear, I hear chicks. No. No? I think it's a cart. Oh, I think it's just, <laughs> yeah, I think squeaky it's cart. squeaky cart. Uh, no chicks. <laughs> All right, well, we got to get hay anyway. So we got our hay, didn't get any other things, no chicks there. I was a little bit disappointed in that. But I did see a I really cool- I was not disappointed. I did see, I want to raise one up. I think it'd be no. cool to have a pet chicken. No, I, uh, I did see that they had an automatic lawnmower, I think is really cool. We should buy one of those. I, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen those too and it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's literally like those Roomba vacuum cleaners, but for your lawnmower. I think that's awesome. Can I have one? Honestly, I'd be all about trying that. That's awesome. Let's get back to the shop. And with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here and wish you guys an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. You guys know it. I love you guys so much. Your support is amazing. I tell you what, you guys make me feel incredible. I just hope that for this 12 or 15 minutes that I'm with you each day, I can give you a little bit of what you guys give me every day. You guys are absolutely amazing. Do me a couple of favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn that post notification on. Leave a comment down below. Be kind to somebody, right Phoebe? And I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.